We like to say KPEL is where Acadiana comes to talk. This year, much of that talk was about local, national, and statewide elections and issues, such as the removal of Confederate memorials, the oil industry, and even national issues like gay marriage. Locally, we had a weekly show called Lafayette Live, which featured Joey Durrell, Lafayette City Parish President. Listeners could call in and talk directly to Joey Durrell to talk about issues such as streets in their own neighborhoods, schools, and what we do with overcrowding many area roads. Was there ever a time that you thought, I need to quit doing this show? <laughs> I still tell you, Bernie, I have always felt this was one of the best things that we did mm -hmm. because it made us transparent, it made us accessible. We would never have done a show with out screening calls if I was afraid of a question. Right. It also was an election year locally for D. Stanley and Joel Rovado vying for the office of City Parish President to replace Joey Durrell. We had them on multiple times discussing similar issues, also just their stance on where they saw the future of Lafayette and the all-important I-49 connector project. When you're out there on the campaign trail, what are the things that people are telling you they want to see done? What are the changes they would like to see? Simply put, there, there are a lot of number one priorities, and the number one priority, of course, is the thing that's the most important to you. We offered an outlet to all candidates, including those running for the City Parish Council, to come on, talk about their opinions for the future of the city, and what changes they would make should they be elected to office. We need to open up communication, I think, even more, and that's what Door to Door gives you. It really gives you that unfiltered feedback mm -hmm. from the constituents, what their concerns are. Change takes time, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, construction takes time. Planning mm -hmm. takes time. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to get in on the, be the beginning part of uh, the planning stages to make sure this is a Lafayette that I want to live in mm -hmm. in the future. KPEL is the epicenter of local politics and hosts Brandon Como and Bernadette Lee in the mornings really drove home the point that people here have heart for where they live and care about what happens next. KPEL played a major role at big political events as well this year, including an old fashioned stump speech that was held at the horse farm where candidates from all over could come and talk directly to constituents. Geographically, Lafayette sits at the crossroads of the state, the intersection of I-10 and I-49. KPEL was on the list of every candidate wanting to speak directly to voters in Acadiana and was a regular stop for interviews on Acadiana's Morning News and Go Acadiana with Ken Romero and Dr. John. Joining us today on Go Acadiana is John Bell Edwards, candidate for governor here in Louisiana. Look, thank you. It's a, it's a great opportunity for me to be with you as well. The room's all of a sudden a little bit full. Man who could be our governor tomorrow, Senator David Vitter, welcome to the show. Hey, great to be with y'all. Thanks for the invite. Great so, to be in Lafayette area. Social media proved to be a big tool in questions for the candidates this year. We opened up our Facebook and Twitter pages to have our listeners to tell us what questions they wanted answered by John Bell Edwards and David Vitter. The highlight of that coverage was on KPEL's Go Acadiana show, where each candidate for governor was asked the same series of questions back to back on our air, live on our show. On Thursday, our guest on Go Acadiana were Louisiana State Representative John Bell Edwards and U.S. Senator David Vitter, both candidates for governor in tomorrow's runoff election. We asked them each the same three questions. Here they are with their answers. National politics has obviously dominated the national news circus, but we were able to tailor that story for our listeners here in Acadiana. On one instance, candidate for Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry was a guest host and interviewed Donald Trump on KPEL. Our guest is Mr. Donald Trump, and he's ready. So uh, let's say good morning to Mr. Trump. Hello, Jeff. How you doing? You're going to make this a full-time business, I guess, huh? <laughs> We've covered the Trump campaign from where it started all the way to what it's become with several different guests involved in the campaign, including one local pastor who was part of a huge group of pastors to meet with Trump in New York City. Donald Trump, Republican presidential hopeful, I will be meeting with 100 African-American pastors and evangelical leaders in New York City. One of them is from right here in Acadiana. Good morning, Pastor Kearney Thomas. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. How about yourself? Oh, doing okay. And as we move further into 2016, our listeners know they can count on KPEL for the best political coverage of local, statewide, and national races. KPEL, where Acadiana comes to talk.